disappointment? Yeah, yeah, it's disappointing, but uh, at, at least for the first time, you could see that uh, Manchester United play with the zeal and vigor. But I think it's, it's, it wasn't the idea because you could see the sales from their keeper and all of that. But it's, it's, it's disappointing. Very disappointing. Did the ref have a role to play? Yeah, yeah. I, if you look at uh, the incident before the goal, I think he should have, he should have given a foul on a, a, a Langa. But for personal reasons, he chose not to uh, give the foul. You know, one mistake from referee or even from the player can also cause the team a match for that day. So from that incident, and that is, that's how uh, Atletico uh, Madrid were able to score. And this team is a team that the moment they, they are able to score you one, they, they go back and they are ready to defend with their blood, with their life and everything. But uh, apart from the fact that I also say that uh, we also have issues with the Magrai. Because you see the, the incident that led to the goal. How can you be a defender? See the way you are marking somebody. And the guy escaped from that point. You know, if he was a good defender, so maybe somebody like Varan, maybe you will know the way to approach uh, the, the player. But just see how he was so showing that laxity. And then the guy just dribbled him off and then that was the school. Apart from Maguire, if I'm sure if we had started this match with maybe Lindelof and Varan in on in that uh, defense. Looking at how many you were so compact from beginning to the end of this match, if there was no error from the defensive part, I'm sure from Maguire, I don't think you should have lost this match. It's for me, it's a it's a blessing in these guys. I hope they will now go back knowing that all they have to fight for this season now is the top four because there's no way again they can enter Champions League next season apart from the top four. So I'm I'm hoping that. They will now channel all their energy and everything trying to enter the top four, at least to qualify for next season Champions League. But you also know that uh, nobody even tip mind you to win Champions League. So any 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 level they have gone, got, gotten to in this uh, uh, competition this season... It's a privilege. It's a privilege, yes. <laughs> it's, it's a privilege and it's a, uh, it's a win-win for them. Because nobody even tip them to even get to this level. You know, they even escape to qualify from the group stage. So for me, they have tried, if they can build on what they have played today, if they can build on the performance of today from start to finish, I'm sure with luck by their side, they should be able to scale through and qualify for next season in the Champions League. And then finally Rashford now, brought on as a super sub, was supposed to make an impact but not... Uh, everybody that is a true Man U fan will know that Rashford has not been informed this season. Instead of you to bring in Rashford, you leave Elanga to be there. Instead of you not to even, if you still want to take off a Langa, somebody like uh, 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 Lingard, Lingard is dead. Why not play him? You must not play Rashford. The same way you must not also play Pogba. Because you see, the way my midfield was compact with McTominay and everything was working in their favor. You now the moment you bring in Pogba, you alter the team. The moment you bring in uh, uh, somebody like Maguire also, you've also destabilized the defense. Because everybody that is a Man U fan, should know that Maguire is one of the greatest challenges we've having this season in Man U. If you tell somebody like Maguire off, tell somebody like Pogba, you could see that fluency in, in, in the team. And then Ronaldo, from the like, last part of Tottenham and today's match, you could see that he's defending, he's in the midfield, he's attacking, he's playing left, he's playing right. So this Man U team is compact, apart from the few challenges or the few issues we are having as a team. All right. Welcome to Football Fans Tribe here with Tavina Nigeria Football Fans after matches and we're giving Nigeria Football Fan content back to back. So if you're new here, please and I beg, click the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching.